clutter and get your home ready, organized for spring. We are learning a few hacks to make it stress free. We check back in with Ashley hanging out in Rancho Cordova. Now, what is the name of the lady that, that you're working with? So this is Katrina Green because okay, she we is have good. Green. Let me she is so good, like Marie Kondo, who we got Katrina Green, everybody. Yeah. Katrina, good morning. Good morning. Gee, let me tell you, if you go to her Instagram page, which is Katrina Green Organizing. Oh, yeah, you're going to see some really dope stuff there. And really, honestly, it's inspiring to see how clean and organized her home is. I bet. Um, so mm -hmm. before we take you over to some of the storage tips, Katrina, just tell me why it's important for people to really tackle not just decluttering, but then properly storing. Right, so decluttering is always very good for whatever purpose because you're, it's, it's the idea of letting go. That's always a really good thing to do. Um, and it come, when it comes to storing it, you always really want to get good storage solutions because one, you don't want your clothes to get bugs or insects. Oh, yeah. um, two, dust is also a thing. Yeah. And basically, it's just a cleanliness. You don't want to do cleaning twice in a row. And especially when you're spring decluttering, you already cleaned once. Why are you yeah. going to do it again? Yeah. So in, in, much it. Oh, sorry to cut you off. We have before and after pictures to kind of give you guys an idea of what your space can look like. So if we could show those photos and, and just looking in before and after photos, mm -hmm. you said it's the, the concept and idea of letting go. It has to feel so good to get into a space, declutter it, and then feel so free. Right, so for me, when I deal with clients, I always start with the why. You always gotta ask yourself why you're decluttering. And most of the time, it's always, uh, it's always linked to mental clutter as well. Okay. Like it's, if you're cluttered in the inside, it most likely shows in the outside. So the decluttering is not just for the physical space, but it's also getting more mental space. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so I think it's time we tackle some tips here when it comes to storage. So let's go ahead and start with the wicker baskets, which I love because it, they're pretty. Usually pretty pretty. <laughs> yes, so aesthetic-wise, this is what I really like. Um, I use this, and you can see it's labeled winter, because for me, we are doing rotation seasonal systems. Uh, you take away everything that you're really using just during the winter. You put it in baskets, they look good, and it's easily accessible if I still need them. Got it. And then next storage tip is this one. So using vacuum bags is a lifesaver, especially for every anyone who wants to save space. It just sucks out the air and then you can um, vertically store them. So this one's good, especially if you have like height as, yeah. as something that you are, um, that you have. And this, this next item guys is one of my favorites because we ain't going anywhere. I, well, maybe soon, but at least over the last year, we haven't had a chance to travel. So why not utilize your suitcase? Yeah, for those who don't want necessarily want to buy more storage solutions, I would suggest to use suitcases that you already have in your home. You can store your clothes in there because they are meant to be for, for yeah. um, clothes. Okay, all right. And last but certainly not least, we all love a good storage bin. Yes, so I highly recommend not to put your clothes in the garage or in the shed or anywhere outdoor, but if it's the only option that you have, I would suggest to get thing, storage solutions that have really tight lids on them so you avoid the insects and the bugs coming in. Nice. And there we go. Again, those are just four tips when it comes to storage. You have so many more tips. Just head over to the website and we won't say website, but your Instagram one more time. Katrina Green Organizing. All right. All the information is there on your screen. Tina and Jordan, any questions for Katrina before we go? I'd like to see inside a refrigerator. <laughs> Can we look inside your refrigerator? Afraid? Are you comfortable with that? Let me Hold on, hold on, I'm only you. kidding. What? Oh, okay. It's okay. It's good? okay. Okay, but is it organized? Here it is. Is it organized? Oh, of course it is. It's organized. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, now. You oh, know. my. Do you have tips for organizing the refrigerator? Use clear containers. Clear You don't con have to label anything that you have. Oh, wait, that's part two, Ash. Everything clear, and it's versatile. You can do... Whatever it is that you need to store, oh, yeah. oh, it's all in there. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you even it's store your like, little water bottles? I do. Oh, so goodness. what's the freezer looking what? like? Not that we have a ton of time. Um, oh, wow. Should we see the freezer? It? Putting her on the spot. It's not that great. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty okay. And by the way, look at this. Chores and meal plan. Okay. Okay, Katrina. Okay. You're definitely, you definitely got to go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, we're done being nosy. I think. I need to hire her. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you, right? Ashley, and thank you, Katrina. <laughs> we'll have all that information up on our website. All right, uh, Thailand. Moving on, Thailand.